This little guy is a blue-faced honey eater and he is enjoying the jacaranda blossoms. Jacaranda only blooms for a few weeks a year so he's really enjoying those. <laughs> Trying to keep him in screen for you. Oops, another one's just arrived. He's a mate, no doubt. So yeah, just thought I'd show you these ones. You probably haven't seen these before. Not in my backyard anyway. We don't see them very often. So yeah, just thought I'd show you that. Pretty special. Hopefully it's not too dark and you can see them okay. It's hanging upside down. <laughs> the wind's picking up a little bit. You can see the blue skin around his eyes. It's where they get the name blue-faced honey eater. So they connect to eaters. They got little like hairs or feathers on the end of their tongues and they can lick up the nectar out of the blossoms. Alrighty, <laughs> I'll leave it there. Back to pouring. Welcome back. A little while ago I did a big rose pour. Uh, kind of looks like a, a rose really. Well I think it does. It's that one there. I don't know if I can fit it all into frame. So I really like that. That was a ring pour and it kind of looks to me like petals because of the way they kind of fold over each other there, the rings. So I'm going to go again. I'm not going to do a ring pour though. I'm going to do a jiggle pour, but I'm going to use these same colours and uh, see what the difference is. So the mix is pretty thick today. I'm just using Floetrol for the pouring medium. Uh, I'm going to do a white background, just a thin white background, just to help the paint flow. And that is the Artist Loft white. So it's been mixed one uh, one part artist loft white and then about a third of the satin enamel and then that has been mixed one to one with flow troll. So that's the white. Um, and then for my gold I'm using the Extreme Sheen by Deco Art, the 24k gold. And this one I've really thickened it up because I find that when it's not thick it just kind of disappears and all I get is like a haze, a gold haze over the top of everything. I don't know why mine, mine doesn't work. Like I watch Sarah Max videos and she gets these gorgeous like gold, um, I call them like pebbles, you know, like pebbles or clouds in the gold. Mine just does not do that. I've tried having it thick, I've tried having it thin. It doesn't work, so <laughs> it's her thing. I, I can't do it. I'll just do my thing. Um, yeah, so if I make it thin, it just goes, it just like gets this gold hue over the whole thing. The gold just blends a lot, so um, I'm just using it pretty thick today. I've got two... What have I got? 60 grams, that's 60 grams in there. So 60 grams of that and 30 grams of Floetrol. So that's two parts gold to one part Floetrol to thicken that one up. So I figured, well, if I can't get the stones, hopefully I can get a nice fingling, feathering effect with the gold, hey? <laughs> so this white feels a little bit on the thick side too, but as I said, it's just a background layer so that the paint will flow easily. It's easier than pouring it out and then trying to do a ring around it. 
it's just easier this way so let's do that so that's my white move that out of the way um, and I'm just gonna layer one cup I have to move you right out of the way won't I so that's my white I've got navy which is Liquitex basics and I've mixed that two parts Floetrol to one part paint um, and then I'm gonna put some gold just put the order that I want them and the magenta here two parts Floetrol one part Liquitex basics in the magenta I've also got dioxazine purple two to one Actually, I did have to add a little splash of water to that because it's a bit thicker, that one. And then I've got this, it's called Turquoise Blue. And I added a little bit of the blue as well, just to darken it a touch. So that's that one. Uh, my Thalo Blue, I added a blob of black to make it into that navy there. So that's all my colours. I think I've told you about all of those. So let's start layering. Um, the other thing I want to change today is normally I'd only do like maybe three layers of paint. I want to try and do lots of little layers today and just see if that gives me a, a nice effect. So white on the bottom. Let's see if I can get some more layers. A little bit of gold, not too much. And I'm going to put quite a lot of white in. So same amount of white as my other colours, but then the gold is only a little bit of gold. Hopefully I've got enough paint to allow me to do three layers. isn't it? As soon as I start a video, oh, I don't know, it might just be my daughter, I'm not sure, or it could be the courier, and of course I've got the dogs in here with me, so they're going to bark. I'm just going to pause the video for a sec and go and see who it is. It may well be a courier. Just my daughter Gemma coming home. Alright, now what did I get up to? Gold. Um, I really like the navy, so I want lots of navy in there. Teal. Purple. Again, I've got way too much paint. I was thinking I was, wasn't going to fill this up, but if the cup's there, I fill it. But hey, this is a thicker mix today. So, and I'm really hoping to get the little fingerlings. And I don't want to overstretch it, so I think I'll be fine with a little bit of extra paint. So I've still got some white, still got some gold. I have got more gold because I made it uh, one to one and I did a practice, a little practice pour and I wasn't happy with it. I did quite a few little practice pours this morning. Uh, this was, that was the thinner mix. See my gold has vanished. That was the thin mix. Uh, this one's really pretty. This was the thicker mix. Hopefully I'll get something like that one to get something like that one <laughs> okay so lots of layers in this one all righty oh um, let's jiggle 
might, normally I do it this way, but you guys can't see what's coming out. I'm just going to do it this way, which means it's going to kind of pour that way. So I'm pretty high up at the moment. So if, well, as soon as I can, I'll get lower to the surface, which means I can have a more defined jiggle. It's kind of like a fold on top of itself rather than a, a wiggle. If your paint starts kind of wriggling, then it's too, you're a bit too high up. Try and get nice and close. That's better. Now I'm getting the fold instead of the the jiggle, uh, the, the wriggle, I should say. So I'm just doing this back and forth, back and forth, creating a little fold. And hopefully I'll get my fingerlings. And then as you get to the end, really slow it down. So if your stream of paint that's coming down is a bit wiggly, then you're too high up and maybe your mix is too thin. So you really want it to just have that beautiful, like a ribbon folding over itself. So you need to get nice and close for that. Okay, lots of gold, yay! And I don't have to worry about doing my white around my edges because I've already done that. It's just time consuming trying to paint the edges. So that was, I think that was good, hopefully. I've got lots of layers, pop bubbles. I sort of see I've got one, two, three, four layers of gold there, maybe. You can kind of see where they are the four layers. I think that's all the bubbles popped. I'm going to make sure that I've got them all because I don't like torching afterwards. I don't want to get too close that I'm burning the paint. But so yeah, that was some, um, I've never used that much white in my layers before. I, I tend not to, so we'll see what happens. All right, now, round in a circle first. Kiss the edges. And I'll go over the corner there. Up to the middle. And <clears throat> I shall go off this corner down here. to the middle. Try not to lose that blue actually. Just look what's happening. I'm getting the pebbles. Huh? Go figure. Try to get pebbles for ages, can't get them and then go, oh, I'm not gonna try for pebbles, I'm gonna do something else and I get pebbles. Go figure. Woohoo! Love that! Got my fingerlings. I got some gold pebbles. <laughs> oh dear. So, yeah, that was with the thicker mix extra layers, extra white. Probably, you know, wasn't concentrating that much. I just kind of went for it when I was tilting. I probably could have slowed it down and sort of concentrated on a little bit more, but I think that's fine. I don't want to keep tilting it. I know that's not, you know, in the centre, but it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be matchy matchy. Right, let's just cover this corner. I've missed all my corners, I think, and I'm going to totally over them. bit there. I guess the only thing 
I would have liked was a, a block of navy. But because I've got so much white in the mix, um, I did kind of lose the navy. I probably needed to do next to the white here. And that's a lot of white too. <laughs> I did put a lot of white in the bottom of the cup. I just can't win, can I? You just got to do it over and over and over until you get it right. Like it takes such a long time to practice a particular pour. You know, until you're happy with it. It's... It's really time consuming going over and over and over. Okay, this doesn't work, let's try this. This doesn't work, let's try this. But um, you get it in the end, you just have to keep trying. Can't believe I got the gold pebbles. I don't even know how I did it. <laughs> oh dear. All right, I'm going to talk to you again. See if anything wants to come up underneath. So what happens when you torch in the white? You get these little um, dots from where the the bubbles have popped. So if you don't want that, just leave your bubbles or make your paint up the, the previous day. All right. So what do you think, you guys? Um, I'm pretty much out of flow troll now, <laughs> so I can't even go again. But I'll make myself a note not to put too much white in the bottom and then put a lot of navy. That way I can get more of a, a white on this side and a block of navy here. But the rest of it is, is really pretty. Like, I'm really happy with it. I've got my fingerlings. I've got nice bands of gold. You can see the magenta coming through. I've got some gold pebbles floating around. So yeah, really happy with that one. I'll take you down for a close-up. Just take my gloves off. I can get them off. Uh, so that was the the ring pour in the same colours. So I've got a lot more magenta showing in that one. You can see the gold shining, hopefully. So it's still pretty, uh, but totally different. Um, I guess maybe if I didn't put so much white in, the colours would have been a little bit more true. But because I had a lot of white between my layers, you know, the magentas faded, the teals faded, the navies faded. But um, Yeah, I guess that's why it's gone a little bit more faded, because I had more white in the layers. But um, hey, it's still really pretty. I really like it. And you know what? It will dry a bit darker too. It's like when you're painting your walls, you know, you paint them and the day after they look much darker. We go over with a second coat and you can see where the other ones have dried darker. So that will probably happen too. Oh, it looks really pretty from up here. All right, let's take it down for a close-up. I'll have to go out and buy more flow troll. So I really want to do this again now. I'll just zoom it out a little bit. Oop, hit the autofocus button. Hopefully that will help. So I've got some teal on the corners. This white always, always reminds me of a Japanese garden, how they rake it and then they put little pebbles or something in the middle. Always reminds me of that. There's my fingerlings. You don't have to do a jiggle pour, you can just do a straight pour. I think you'll get the fingerlings anyway as the paint kind of falls out of the cup. But I just wanted them more exaggerated, so I, I do the jiggle. And then over here, I've got the pebbles, gold pebbles. Goes over the edges. So, you, yeah, I guess I could have just put a little bit of less white between the layers. 
because it's all gone a little bit more, you know, faded, but it's still really pretty. I'm really happy with it, you guys. What do you think? Do you like it? Let me see if I can pick up the gold. Shimmering. It's a bit difficult to do that. Um, hey, was that it? Mm -mm. Chasing a, a light around the place. Maybe if I put my spotlight back on, it might help. Not really. <laughs> I'll just have to show you once it's dry, hey? And you can see the shimmer. So anyway, that is her. Very pretty. Love it to pieces. I'm so surprised I got those pearls and I wasn't even, those little pebbles there and I wasn't even expecting it. I'll have to watch back on the video and see what I did. I did change one little thing. Maybe that was it. Maybe that worked. Mmm, more experimentation is needed. <laughs> I won't tell you yet. I'm going to make sure that it works first before I spill the beans, so to speak. All right. Thanks for watching. And um, I'll see you all real soon after I've gone out and bought more Floatrol. <laughs> okay. Bye for now.